Hi, this is Dr. Gary Daniel and welcome to our daily tune-up today. We're going to talk about the art of allowing. What's that word I used? Allowing. Do you realize that if you allow something to happen, you're saving almost 60% of your energy? By disallowing or fighting against or resisting, it takes most of your neurological energy to just operate your life. Many times things happen to us each day and we don't really know what's going to happen today, but something might be flying in the car window at us and we're totally unaware and then it hits us and, and then we resist it because it upsets our comfort level. If we'll just allow things to happen and just understand every day it's like a Monopoly game and we're going to have to draw that chance card once in a while and it's going to be <laughs> go to jail and do not collect $200 once in a while. It just happens. You know, the transmission in our car goes out. That just recently happened to me and I got a nice car. Sometimes things happen and we just don't know how to deal with it. However, if we will just allow those things to happen and put our energy into solving those problems and solving and finding solutions to these challenges, that allowing energy helps us find those solutions and it makes life a lot more pleasant in the meantime. So your job today is practice the art of allowing. When we resist something, that means there is an incongruity in our life. There's either a resistance to something that ought to look at and change, or we're resisting something that we know better and we're fighting our ego, or we're resisting the inevitable because we're not going to turn it around by arguing with it, disallowing it. So by allowing, we now are half solving the problem just by getting our energy back and using our energy in a positive way. Allowing allows our creative force, that frontal part of our mind, we call the frontal cortex, the frontal lobe, the cerebral cortex, all around here. It allows us to pay attention to creativity and allows us to become creative. And that's how we solve challenges. So today, let's practice just allow things. There's things that you're in control of. There's things that you're not in control of. And by attempting to control the things you're not in control of is a waste of your time. Allow the things to come to you and solve the problems as they come to you by allowing them. And then allow yourself to learn by that. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very, very discovery-filled day. Bye-bye.